today I thought that I would uh, run you through uh, building a, a, a little app uh, in React, and, and in that way we might be able to, uh, you know, touch a few of the uh, a few of the pieces of React, and we can I can explain along the way uh, sort of how they work and how they hang together. Uh, and the app in particular that I had the idea for was um, a, a comic book collecting app. Uh, so my yeah. <laughs> You can make mine Marvel, uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and uh, use the Marvel uh, developer API, uh, and they surface a, a database of uh, well, comic books and uh, different series and characters and things like that. And so I thought we could thought we could use that to um, to, to make a little collecting app. Sounds great. And uh, who's your favorite? Deadpool, uh, uh, yeah, Deadpool and uh, Doctor Strange. So the last couple of years have been uh, pretty, pretty good for me. I've had uh, a few of my favorite characters come out with movies, so it's great. Oh, great! Yeah, I think I'm probably a Spider-Man guy. You know, kind of basic, but whatever. <laughs> hey, man, it's a, you know, he's, he's a, it's a classic for a reason. Yep. My first question is: Do you have uh, Node installed on this machine? Let me check. Yes. Excellent. Uh, and so we'll need Create React App to uh, to begin our our app. I'm wondering if you've got that installed. Uh, how do I find out? Uh, well, yeah, just entering Create React App just by itself will cause it to to fail, basically. Uh, so if you hit Enter on that, and it'll yep, there we go. Okay, so it's giving you some some helpful information because it assumed that. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what you're doing yep. um, so uh, right so we'll use a command the command create react app and I mean you can see the uh, the documentation there it's uh, leading you along the correct path so uh, we I don't have a name thought of um, for this I guess uh, just collector is a good enough name for, okay. for what we're going to be doing and uh, if I didn't have create react app installed I know a great video you can watch that uh, tells you how to get up and running yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you can find that on on my channel over there. Oh, geez. All right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's uh, it's it's cleverly named after a character in Marvel. So. Yeah. Nice. The, the collector. There you go. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have a project called Collector yet. I've got a bunch in this directory. Oh, okay. Cool. Are, are all these warnings normal? Possible event emitter memory leak detected. I've got to be honest, I've never seen that happen before. Yeah. I see stuff like that all the time, I just ignore it. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> event emitter. It looks like it's a, a node warning. You can see there, node 26419. Yeah, that's so quite that, a expl line that explains everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. No weird problems down the road. No, well, it's a live recording, so what what could possibly go wrong? That's right. I was like seeing when uh, when human runs and you see everything that you're uh, with <laughs> with you're stuck with after you installed a generator. Yeah, well, actually, that that uh, raises a pretty good point here. So you can see here that this is, uh, well, I mean, Great React App is incredibly well documented all the way through. You you should check out the README uh, on their on their GitHub page. It's it's there's so much cool stuff there. Um, and I mean, I cover this in my video on the channel, so I won't go in too deep, but just as far as what you were saying with uh, it pulls in so much stuff, you see there there's a npm run eject, and what that actually does is it grabs, so um, when you build a Create React App pipeline, it uh, creates, a, well, it pulls in a npm package called React Scripts, and this is independent of your build pipeline, but it actually runs the build pipeline, right? So it, it, whenever you do any of these tasks, it goes into this React Scripts npm package, and in this way, you're able to upgrade your pipeline without affecting the pipeline itself because the React uh, Scripts package gets upgraded, right? But if you decide you don't want to be part of the React Create React App ecosystem later on down the line, you can see there, yeah, you've highlighted it. Basically, it 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 takes all the bits that were in the React script, pulls it into your own pipeline, and now you're on your own. You know, like so, it, it means that you don't you don't have to drink the Kool Aid sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like this is yeah. 
if you decide that it's not for you, you can get out. Oh, that's, that's great. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I spend way too much time messing around with the, the build pipeline. That's one of the things I've really been excited to, to see how this is put together and how I, I can avoid uh, messing with grunt files and gulp files and uh, webpack and whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this allows you to get up uh, nice and quick, and you'll be able to see that. If you run npm start now, you'll see that we, we already have an app. All right. So I uh, went yeah. ahead and cd to the directory. I saw it was mentioned there, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, well spotted. So I mean, yeah, even I mean, with with uh, all the explanation I just did, uh, might, might make it seem a little bit longer. But I mean, this is less than less than a minute, and we've got an app together. So yeah, create rack app is great for that because uh, if you've ever gone through the pain of trying to build a, a build pipeline just so that you can get your hello world started, yeah, oh, God. and I so, have, yeah. Um, so uh, maybe if we open up the project in your favorite code editor. And uh, we can start getting to what I mean, because what I like to do first is uh, clear out all this create React app stuff that it gets that gets built along with it. Um, okay. So that uh, so that we've just got just what we want in there. So yeah, Whoa. the node modules. Yeah, it's got a, got a bit of stuff in there. Um, I've got to be honest, I haven't run through every single one of them, but what you have to remember as well is that uh, a little while back, Node uh, changed its policy on the way that it pulls in dependencies for other packages. Because um, you remember it used to go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, and then Windows would blow up. Yep. Well, now it's all flat. So you keep in mind that this isn't just the dependencies of Create React App, it's the dependencies of create react app and all its dependencies you know what i mean right and yeah their dependencies so yeah yeah so looks like a lot it probably isn't all that much like i have two camel cases here but uh, they're slightly different but probably do the same thing uh, that's well, modern yeah, but, javascript but but they're, they're they're so subtly different that you just you got to have both yeah what if... <laughs> is, is left pad in there oh gosh probably it seems like every pat every uh yeah, it's 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 now become a meme. No, it looks like they took it out. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, cool. So yeah, node modules is uh, not where we need to be right now. Let's, uh, Let's close, close that, that down. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we want to head into uh, source. Yep, and then jump into app.js. Cool. So you can see here, this is uh, JSX, and this is uh, something that. Uh, is is uh, inherent in React. Uh, it looks like markup in JavaScript, but it actually is. Uh, all this transpiles out using Babel to become just uh, function calls. So uh, I've got more information on Java, on JSX on on my site. We won't go too deep into that. Um, let's just uh, go ahead and clear out everything between the the main div there, so that you can see that class name app. Just just clear all that out and just uh, put in a hello world. Okay. And uh, what can I just uh, change this to the P, or is there something special about that class name and div? No, there's nothing special about that. Uh, you do need to make it so that you've only got um, a, a single uh, tag when you, you return only return a single tag. They're going to be fixing that uh, when they release uh, the next version of the React renderer, which they're currently calling Fiber. Um, but uh, for now, uh, every component that you build in React has to return a single uh, element, and I mean that has that has to do with the way that the um, the API for React, uh, the the function calls that get transpiled out, um, they they require a certain signature, and so we need to make it so that that signature is met. So, yeah, yeah, I see a, a nice warning there. And it was just funny because this is like already to me, it's like this isn't JavaScript, it's not HTML. I don't know what it is, but uh, mm -hmm. Visual Studio Code does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, do you have ESLint installed in or the ESLint plugin in this version I have of code no clue. that you've got here? Okay, all right, because that, that may be what's picking it up. But in any case, yeah, so all right, so that, that's enough in AppJS. Uh, so the other things that you need, you might want to. Uh, get rid of just to clear it out 
Okay. Um, uh, what about this logo? Also, what is import? Is that kind of like require? So import is the uh, ES6 version of require. Um, they're subtly different, I've been told, but I don't know exactly how they're subtly different. Uh, but in any in any case, yeah, that that's ES6 syntax for for require basically. And you'll see at the bottom you've got export default, and that is um, the equivalent of putting the um, the app on on the module defaults in in the former syntax but once again it's, it's ES6 now um, so yeah so yeah you get rid of that logo SVG as you've said um, and then the in the app CSS uh, there's going to be some that that's just all the stuff to make the, the page pretty we probably we don't need any of that right now so we can just get rid of it all what is that at keyframes keyframes is a CSS3 um, thing and it allows you to do um, animations like it defines animations so you'll see app logo spin a little bit higher up in the app logo selector so if you look at the yeah there you go so app logo spin at the start there so that's just a it's just a way to be able to declare an animation um, so yeah but that's not something um, specific to react that's a that's just a CSS3 thing cool um, so yeah, so if we get rid of all this, this is that. That's what made the. You saw how the React logo spun. Yep. When in, yeah, yeah, so that's that's what that did. Um, the index CSS does it should just have a, a body selector in it. So that's probably not got a lot in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah so I thought I'd so, flip over here and see that uh, still spinning, but <laughs> something else uh, happened here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the um, Create React app comes built in with uh, watch it, watches. So uh, yeah. So it's a fully functioning build pipeline straight out the box. So uh, you get your nice tight development flows and everything. So yeah. So having just saved it, it will have uh, recompiled it. Now I haven't yet worked out why it doesn't. So see, every now and again it'll say uh, compiled successfully. Yeah. Um. And and it like it. You can see that it's it's doing extra stuff. I haven't worked out yet what actually triggers that, because sometimes it seems to do it and sometimes it doesn't. And then other times I'll save it and uh, it won't do anything, and I'll have to restart the whole pipeline again. So, yeah, I haven't I haven't worked that out yet. But in any case, it's uh, even if it's even if it's fickle, it's still better than nothing. You know? Yeah, I kind of expected to see something here, but I'm um, telling you, what, I actually want to close this terminal and just do it uh -huh. from. Um... From code here, so we can just kind of keep it all in one uh, or in less screens, I guess.